large, jet-powered Akranoplan, unofficially named the Bohai Sea Monster, has been spotted in China, sparking comparisons to Soviet-era ground-effect vehicles and potentially marking a new phase in China's maritime military development. This new design, which appears to be the most ambitious Akranoplan built in decades, was first seen in images shared on Chinese social media. The Chinese Akranoplan exhibits several distinctive features consistent with classic ground-effect craft. The aircraft has a catamaran hull, a high-mounted T-tail, and dual vertical stabilizers. This T-tail configuration is typical for Akranoplans and is not commonly seen on regular aircraft. Its wings are comparatively short, and it has a large tail, which are characteristics of Akranoplan designs. The Bohai Sea Monster is equipped with four jet engines positioned above its wings, featuring downward-angled nozzles. These flattened nozzles suggest a downward-angled thrust, which is indicative of an Akranoplan design. Military Implications The Akranoplan's low-visibility gray paint scheme and military-style features suggest it is intended for military operations. Potential roles include amphibious assault, troop transport, and coastal logistics, particularly within contested regions like the first island chain in the Western Pacific. Some Soviet Ekranoplans were designed for quickly delivering troops and armored vehicles to enemy beaches, a role currently associated with hovercraft in the Chinese Navy. The new Chinese model may serve as an assault transport or a cargo plane and drone for rapid resupply of island garrisons and supporting amphibious landings. Ekranoplans, also known as winging ground effect vehicles, are designed to fly just meters above water surfaces by utilizing aerodynamic lift generated in ground effect. This allows them to achieve high speeds while remaining below radar detection thresholds, making them suitable for stealthy coastal operations. The ground effect occurs when an airfoil operates very close to a surface, such as water or the ground, which prevents wingtip vortices from expanding and significantly reduces lift-induced drag. This enables shorter wings to produce as much lift as much larger wings on conventional aircraft, though only when close to the surface. While some GEVs can temporarily increase altitude outside of ground effect, they are generally not designed for sustained high-altitude flight and rely on ground effect for takeoff and landing. The Soviet Union was a pioneer in Akranoplan development, producing massive vehicles like the Luan-class Akranoplan, which was the only ground-effect vehicle ever operationally deployed as a warship. The Luan-class, designed by Rostislav Alexeyev in 1975, served with the Soviet and later Russian navies from 1987 until the late 1990s. Eight Kuznetsov and K-87 turbofans powered it, each providing 127.4 knots of thrust, and it could reach speeds of 550 km per hour. The Lewin class had a length of 73.8 meters and a wingspan of 44 meters, with a crew of 15. Despite their impressive size and speed, Soviet Ekranoplans like the Lewin class had drawbacks, including limited operation in rough seas and an inability to ascend to higher cruising altitudes, which restricted their deployment. The Soviet program faced funding cuts after the dissolution of the USSR, and large Ekranoplans did not achieve widespread deployment. The emergence of the new Chinese Ekranoplan could signal a revival of the concept, potentially made more viable by modern technology and strategic needs. The International Maritime Organization classifies GEVs as maritime ships due to their use of the ground effect recognizing three types based on their certified operational altitude relative to ground effect. There has been ongoing discussion among national regulatory agencies regarding whether these vehicles should be classified and regulated as aircraft or boats. China is actively advancing its military technology across various domains. China's cutting-edge military technologies include advanced missile systems, space-based capabilities, hypersonic weapons, and an increasing number of nuclear warheads. The country has also made strides in unmanned systems, maneuverable re-entry vehicles, and directed energy weapons. In both 2022 and 2023, China led in defense-related satellite launches, with examples like the Yaogon 41 remote sensing satellite. 
Chinese military innovation also includes significant advancements in autonomy and AI-enabled weapon systems. These systems are equipped with advanced technologies such as automated fire control systems, enhanced armor, and sophisticated sensors. The United States has implemented export controls on semiconductor technology to limit the future advancement of China's military AI sector.